Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef. Last week I created a video and it was how to get started on Canvas Workspace cloud-based version. Now that video had a lot of questions and comments and so right now I would like to just do a follow-up to that video and I'm going to show you how to download the Canvas Workspace application for your PC computer. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is open a browser and type in support.brother.com. And you're going to select your country over here on the left. Mine's already selected the United States. Different countries have different models of the machine, so that's why you need to select that and your language, etc. Next thing you're going to do is go to product search. I happen to have the CM350 model of the Scan and Cut, which is also known as the Scan and Cut 2. You click on search, and then you select your cutting machine, and then you can select the, th the different pieces of software that you're going to be able to download that will go with your particular model. Okay, so I just want to point out something. I have a Windows 10 computer, so you're going to select your operating system and if you have Windows. And if you have a Mac, which one of my subscribers, Pat, has a Mac, she said just go ahead and get the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. It's a program that will allow you to use the fonts from your computer on your machine. I'm just going to show you that for the Mac users really quick. And it does work with Mac OS 10.10 and above. Okay, so this is what you want to use to access your fonts. Now, it's not going to do what I'm about to show you. It's a scan and cut type converter, but it does work on a Mac. And I did not know that the other day because I only used it on a PC. Going back to Windows 10 and to the task at hand, we have it available to us as well. You have we have Canvas Workspace and Scan and Cut Type Converter. In my opinion, you do not need the Type Converter if you have the Canvas Workspace. The only advantage to using the Type Converter is that if you just want to work with type on your computer and that's all you want to do and save the files, then this would be faster. But if you want to actually do any designs, you want the Canvas Workspace. I'm going to compare the the PC version of the Canvas Workspace to the cloud-based version as I go along here. Now, go to Canvas Workspace. Now, you have an end-user agreement that we can speed read through. Scrolling down. Okay, accept the agreement. And download the software. Now, it's also going to tell you that you're going to need to log in. Okay. You're, it says if your download does not automatic, automatically click here. It, it does start automatically, and it's right down here on the bottom of my browser. However, I already have installed it, so I don't need to install it again. I will say that you do need to log into it. It's a program that's called a tethered program, tethered to the mothership, as you will, if you will. Now, that means that you're going to log into it only because if you want to be able to save your projects to your machine, it needs to know who you are so that you can go through your wireless network. I have a lot of questions about that as well, so if you want, you can watch my video on using setting up your wireless activation card. All right, so there it is. You would install it. You would sign in, and now we're going to go to the next step. Okay, I am skipping the step of you installing it and signing in. Because I've already done that, I can't do it again on my computer. Now here's the software. That's the last project I worked on. Let me just open up a new project. And do I want to save the changes? Yes. Okay, so we have a blank canvas. I will now compare some of the features to, of this version to the online version. Now, in the PC version, you still have your shapes. And these are the shapes that are on your machine. But just picture how much easier it will be to work with these shapes using your mouse or your touchpad or whatever you're using 
on your PC because your shapes will be easier to color and 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 then dif differentiate between them, make change the thick thickness, um, weld and divide the shapes. So you can make a lot of shapes by combining shapes. Okay, you have your borders, and that we have these are the same ones on your machine. Okay, nice. And we have what's in our machine we call on the canvas, they're called logos, but here in this version they're called words, but yet they are the same. What I like about these words or logos is that these have joined, let me just grab Merry Christmas. Okay, notice how the letters are joined in almost every case. Or here's my my baby okay so that makes it easy to work with especially when you're doing vinyl iron-ons stickers and things I love having letters that are joined together okay, let's delete that okay scrolling down okay and I, I did use this welcome banner and I used a couple others for in my class on the Brothers Can and Cut Advanced class. We used the back to school one. Okay, now notice even though that doesn't look like the letters are fused from just looking over here, when you drop it onto your mat, you can see how nice it is the letters are fused together. Okay, now, so that is the same as the Canvas Workspace version. Some other things that are the same is that you can add text. Okay, but then I'm going to compare how it's different. You can import different file types like SVG files. Okay. You can, and those are like, say you want to get them from online repositories and you download SVG files, you can import them here. Okay. And, and then the FCM, that's the brother type of file. Okay. And you can work with image tracing. Now I got to tell you that you probably will need to get the advanced image tracing that to work better which is another feature we have to pay for but I don't have that feature but image tracing is when you take your image and you make it into a cutting file your image needs to have well-defined backgrounds and you can work with path tools to draw things I'm not going to go over every feature here and and freehand drawing okay now let's compare what's different the biggest difference I think and the reason you need the desktop version like we're using now is when I type something I'll just do graduation. Okay. This is now what's great about this is I can access every font that is installed on my PC. Whether I downloaded that font or whether the computer came with that font. The biggest advantage. Let's pick some kind of script font. Because like I said, I like working with script fonts because the letters are fused together. Here's, here's degree doodles. Okay, so here we have graduation. And let me get rid of all those others. All I'm doing, by the way, is selecting with my mouse to, to highlight the objects I'm working with. Okay, so I'm making it really big so you can see that even though it's text and it looks like it's all fused together, they're not really fused together. We have to do a couple more steps, and that's where... I want to tell you that this version is so much better than the cloud-based version because of the layers. If you go over here to layers, you'll see that right now I have a text-based layer. And to work with this in the proper way, I want to take my text-based layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer. Now watch what happens when I duplicate down here with the little plus sign. Or you can or you can go up to your layer and you can say duplicate. Okay. So now I can take that that object, okay? Let me just select it again and I can do things to it like these are some features called process overlap weld. I could weld these letters together. I could divide them. Okay, but right now I want to weld them together. And then it, then it will be one object, graduation. And now notice how this U and the A, for example. Just compare that. We do not have separate letters. 
we've combined them together. See, notice those little parts. So that's what I really like about it. You just need to duplicate your layers first over here. So then you can work with them. Because at that point, after you duplicate them, they become, they actually become shapes, okay, instead of text. So you have your text, and then you duplicate it, and you start doing the weld, and it's a shape. So when it becomes a shape, the one thing that's important to notice is I'm clicking on it, I'm clicking on it. Can you hear my, me trying to touch my mouse? Nothing will happen. It, it has a bunch of paths. Paths. P-A-T-H-S. Meaning it is made up of vectors. Okay. Which, where is where SVG gets its name, Scalable Vector Graphics. It is no longer editable text. Okay, so we, we, can, we can't edit the individual letters. We can't change this word because we've welded the letters together. But that's okay. Now when you're all done, we can export this file. But let me finish comparing the two versions. We have one other thing that's great about this version, this particular version of the software, as opposed to the cloud base, is something here called the editing, or the properties window, I'm sorry, the properties. Now, when you're using the cloud based version, every time you want to get to the properties, it keeps closing, and it keeps going away, and you have to keep opening the window. But not in this version. In this version, you can do things, and your properties window, notice that. It just stays there. It doesn't disappear, and you don't have to keep going to find it again. And that's the one thing I really love about this version. And you can change. Not You don't really need to change the fill colors because in the Brother Scan and Cut, um, I'm, I have to select that first, sorry. You really don't need a fill color because you are... You're just cutting the lines most of the time. But sometimes you want to fill color just to see how things will look. Will look. Okay? But in your line color, you just usually leave that black. But the point is, you have properties to change. Like, for example, when you make lines, and if you want to make a score line in the brother, it's not the same as, like, if you have a cricket where your score, you put your scoring tool in and it makes a score line. In the brother, the way you make a score line is by making dashed lines. And that's how you make your score lines. So I really like that the properties stay open over here on the right-hand side. Okay, so one, so to compare the, the two products, okay, you can access fonts on your computer. Big advantage, okay? You can work with layers and, and truly work with layers. You can lock, I mean, not that the other programs don't necessarily have layers and arranging things, from, but these layers you can lock. You can arrange them in different orders. You can rename them, and you can create groups. It's amazing. And then you can the properties stays open. Those are the three biggest advantages. However, all those projects I showed you in my class, or I think I've been showing you maybe on YouTube some of the projects that you can download from Canvas, Workspace, Cloud-based version, they're not here. And now if somebody knows how to get to them, besides this convoluted process of exporting them and re-importing them, please let me know because I have not found a way to access those files from anywhere in this menu. So I'll, so the cloud-based version, the, the biggest advantage of the cloud-based version is using all kinds of projects that Brother has available to you. But let's go back to this project. Okay, so what I did is I imported an SVG file. Okay, this is the dice box that we made in the class. So, in order for me to work with it on the PC version, I have to go get it from the Canvas Cloud and then open it in this version. Okay, so that's a convoluted process. I really wish that we would have access to all those projects the brother that we have on the cloud in this PC version. Because after all, we have signed in to our machine. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you you can open any SVG files. We talked about fonts. Amazing. Okay. And let's just go back to that concept. Let me just show you one of the projects I'm particularly working on because we have some guests coming and I made a bunch of stickers to put on some posters. And I have the names on of the guests that are coming. Okay. And so here's just one, okay, one of the stickers. Now, what, what you do when you want to 
export this to your machine and cut it is you just go up to here. You go up to File, Export. I'm sorry if my menu gets cut off a little because of how I'm recording on part of my screen. Export. Okay. And that's just one way if you want to save it to like a USB. Okay. And then these, and then the other way is to transfer. So export is if you have a USB or you want to export it using the cable to your machine. But transfer is when you have your wireless activation set up. And I've showed you that in a different video. And now if I go over to my machine right now, which is named the Paper Chef, this one is ready. This file is ready to cut. Okay, so I hope you understand that what we what we just did, we can actually you can actually install the software, use fonts on your computer, turn those fonts into cutting files, resize them, and you can also resize it on your machine, and transfer it wirelessly to your machine. Okay, hope your wheels are spinning right now. And as I wrap up, I just want to tell you, just picture the iron-ons, the vinyl, the t-shirt design, the little baby onesies, all you can do with the fonts and another in a future video I'll show you how to go get fonts from the internet how to install fonts on your machine and how to use them with the brother canvas workspace software PC based version okay so I hope you understood this tutorial and why you need to go download this brother canvas workspace for your PC and how it will open up your your design opportunities for you and we will see you in a future video. Thank you.